Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video. Uh, just a quick one this time, uh, as all my videos usually are nowadays. Uh, I'm out in the man cave, in the arcade, and uh, I've picked up two new things. So I just thought I'd quickly make a video and show you. Uh, it's funny how times change. Back in the day when I was making regular videos, I would always try and stretch out video content. If you have something like a pick up of that, you'd maybe show it per video, but I'm going to squeeze both of them into this video. Uh, and we'll start with... Uh, Candy cabs of sort that I picked up. First pickup is this Naomi Universal Cabinet. It's quite a funny story about this Naomi. I actually thought it was going to be a scam. I'd seen it on eBay from an Italian seller, and uh, Italian sellers have got a bit of a reputation for being scam artists. I don't know why. So, anyway, so this Naomi was up for sale for, I think it was £180. I can't remember, it was a few, two months ago now. Uh, but yeah, so the guy had zero feedback, a dodgy name, dodgy photos and I just thought I'd sold quite a few of my games that I still had left in my attic and I thought, you know what, I'm flush with cash, uh, I'm going to take a gamble. So believe it or not, I paid the cash and four days later it showed up from Italy. I got air freighted across, it cost like 80 quid to get it delivered. Uh, it was. It was crazy, I couldn't believe it when it showed up. So, what does 180 quid Naomi look like? Oh, excuse me about that, it's my other pickup. Uh, yeah, so the cabinet itself is in too bad condition. Obviously it's a bit yellow. Uh, it's got a virtual tennis cart in it. Uh, it works fine. Love virtual tennis actually. Uh, it's not the best control panel, it's kind of, it's got a homemade one on it and it's all fucked and things like that. It's got these uh, butt plug joysticks on it. Uh, it's got a few hole here and there. Uh, bottom of the cabinet is actually a pretty decent neck. Uh, yeah, so to be honest, for like 240 quid or something, 230 quid, whatever I paid for it, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so I've been in contact with the seller again, so I would definitely buy from him again. Uh, so yeah, I couldn't believe it, it was well worth it. It was actually quite funny because I was waiting on Martin, the delivery guy, delivering my pinball pickup, uh, and he took like three and a half weeks and this came all the way from Italy in four days. It's unbelievable. So the plan for it is, uh, in the summertime when it gets a bit warmer, I'm going to chop it, chop it so it's a sit down, just like my new Astro City, uh, put a new control panel on it, tart it all up, maybe get put a bit of paint on that, but I'll see if I could be bothered. Uh, virtual tennis, it's a great sort of two player game to have when my mates and that are around. So, yeah, the main reason I wanted the Naomi actually was because you could play a 360 through it, fairly simple. So I wanted to just play my 360 shooters through it. But I've gotten quite into the Naomi games, obviously it's just Dreamcast games. So, I'll wait and see. Uh, Wait and see what I pick up for. I've actually picked up Virtual Tennis, eh, no Virtual Tennis, Virtual Striker 2 for it just recently. So I'm waiting for that to get delivered. But yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, yeah, so there you go. Naomi. So I now have got two machines. And my second pickup is a new pinball machine. Again, some of you might have seen this on my Facebook page I put up a few months ago. So yeah, so it's a 1988... <laughs> Come on now, I'm talking now. A 1988 Cyclone. It's a theme park uh, theme. It's uh, got a scary ass clown there. Yeah, so 1988 pinball machine. So obviously it doesn't have the rules of that that modern pinballs have. But yeah, I love it. Uh, again, it was a bit of a funny story. It came up on eBay and I just I messaged the guy, asked him how much he was wanting for it came to a price, so I paid him, uh, just by bank transfer, a bit of a gamble, and I had to wait like three and a half weeks before Martin, the delivery guy, picked it up. Never heard from the guy, so it was a little bit tense. I mean, it wasn't a lot of money, but uh, sometimes you've got to just be trusty, trustworthy in this in this game. So yeah, it showed up. So I've done a few wee things to it. The guy had owned it for like the last 10 years, had to have LED'd it. Uh, I've still got a few to put in, I've re-rubbered it, uh, fixed a few switches, what not, uh, took it all down, cleaned it all and things like that, but yeah, overall, it's working, working fine, uh, so it kind of goes well, 
about the 1988 sort of same art package and that as my 1987 laser war. So, aye. So overall, I'm pretty happy. Maybe just put this on if we're going. Boop. Uh, so yeah, so now I've got two, uh, which is, I thought I'd maybe try and squeeze one more, I can squeeze one more into it, I've got the space, but I don't know, I'll wait and see, I quite like just having two, because uh, you could get around them, you could work on them easy enough, but again, who knows, who knows. So, yeah, so my is filling up, as I say, I've got two pinball machines, uh, two candy cabs, and then I've still got my driver in the corner, which is off. So again, the plan for this, like I've said before, is I'm going to try and get an empty shell of an arcade racer and put on my PC and everything in that and my steering wheel. So that basically takes it, it'll probably take up the same amount of space. I'll be able to squeeze one more behind that. I'm going to, I've got an old wardrobe here. I'm going to build, believe it or not, just an empty, a cabinet to put my light gun games in the now while I pick up a light gun arcade machine. Uh, that's on the agenda as well. And then on this side, next to my kind of cabs, I'll probably get one more if I'm lucky. Squeeze one more in there. So yeah, there you go guys. Yes, yeah, so overall I'm pretty happy. Uh, as I say, it's when you're buying arcade machines and things like that, it can be an expensive hobby, but Again, if you shop smart, willing to do a wee bit of work, uh, you can pick up a few good bargains. Obviously, we'll need to spend a bit of money on that on it, but yeah, overall, pretty happy. Uh, hope you guys are all doing well. Hope everybody has a good Christmas. Uh, sorry about this shaky camera thing. Like I've said before, I get very limited time for videos, so I thought we'd just quickly pump one out. And uh, yeah, leave it at that. Take it easy, guys, and uh, I'll see you next time.